Hi, this is Bruce from Jingle Mining. In last video, we have discovered the best configuration of the fan speed setting. So the noise level can be find a balance point between the performance and the noise. Um, and many customers are curious how the product design internally. And this product, a small brick, can generate 300 megahash per second. And considering the previous, like, like three to five years ago, the ASIC miner, such a big machine, can generate like 200 or 300 megahash per second. And 30 series of GPUs can generate about 100 megahash per second. And they are just massive brick. But this one can generate 300. So in today's video, we are going to discover how the product design internally. And we are going to tear this baby down. With this. So first step, of course, unscrew the Wi-Fi antenna and unplug everything. Let's invite my friend, Screw. So now I have unscrewed uh, both sides of panel and uh, you can see that one side here, it is a fan. And this will be the fan out, okay? So the air will be sucked from this side and this is the uh, wire connect to the control board of the Wi-Fi antenna so this side is pretty clean no fans right here and there will be no other mounts sometimes some other products there will be mounts under the uh, pads and I check there is no mount so now we are going to slide this out carefully. There are two rails right here. It's to stabilize the frame right here, you can see. So every mode, every, every panel, they are very, very well prepared and well designed. The size is very compact and clean. And of course, this top panel, I assume it contains a chip or something. Later we'll find out. And uh, all kinds of like uh, power supply and uh, all the components are very compact and neat. So this is, uh, uh, you can see the product design of iPolo is very nice. And keep unscrewing with Mr. Screw. By the way, what's the temperature over there? Nowadays in Shanghai right now, it's 40 degree. If you do not turn the AC on, we're totally just like a, like, a, like a plant in the greenhouse. Okay, fan is off and it's plugged from both sides. And it's just a regular four pin fan about uh, two centimeters thick, very tiny and small. And this fan, the noise of this fan is pretty low and the max fan speed is around 7,000 RPM. Uh, so I suppose it's using a very decent material inside. There are still four screws to mount the control board and the frame. Keep going. Now the frame is off and this side is black. So this is the back side of the control board and uh, I suppose this is the back side of the chip. At least it's for the radiator, okay? And uh, some uh, uh, serial numbers stick on the blank side and uh, you can see 
two boards stacked together and the radiator in the middle. So here are all the components that I can tear down as most as possible. And for this part, uh, the connection between the radiator and the, the motherboard, I will not go further. Uh, because at the moment I do not have the thermal paste. Uh, maybe this is the most curious part you would like to see, but uh, uh, please allow me. Uh, so, you can see that, and this little thing here, it is a V1 Mini 1 to 2 convert board. By saying convert, it is just like uh, some micro uh, wires stay inside and uh, make sure the communication between the control board and these two motherboards. You can see how many connectors right here. Maybe um, some other miners like uh, just miner, they are using the soft wire and this one is a hard board. I suppose the connection will be quite okay and stable. So. Uh, speaking of the motherboard, I can see from this little uh, thin area, it is uh, copper, the contact area of the radiator is copper, yeah, and uh, I suppose this part, this area will be the backside of uh, the, the chip and all the power supply, they're very ni nice and tiny. And here, these pins will go through here. It took me a while to take it off. So I think that's all. All the components, they are very, very well designed. So all the parts, all the size, they are just the main to build in as tiny as possible to fit it in here. And every component will be screwed and mount with some other things. and. Uh, make sure it will stay stable into the frame and frame will go inside of this uh, let's say shell okay so it's perfect i think this is one of the most beautiful miner i have ever seen and by the way the internal design and all the components they are basically the same except the like some other uh, support design and uh, uh, the chip will be different between um, the gray ETC model and the golden ETH model. So we are going to tear the baby down, start from the cheaper one to minimize our loss. Actually, I'm quite confident with my skill, but we will find out. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you like our content, please sum up for our video and subscribe our YouTube channel. Jingle Mining, we'll meet you in jinglemining.com or jinglemining.youtube. See you.